a priceless piece of art stolen and lost more than 30 years ago. We're talking about the Willem de Kooning's Woman Okra. It went missing from the University of Arizona Museum of Art in 1985 and returned in 2017. But the mystery of who stole it and where it was found is still a question. News 4 Tucson's Peter Murillo just may have found the answer in her Crime Trackers report. The day of the theft, I saw tears of disappointment, despair, and just disbelief. The painting was donated to the University of Arizona in 1958 by Edward Gallagher Jr. It was proudly displayed here and in museums around the world for the next 57 years until 1985. It was the day after Thanksgiving when the woman ochre was stolen. The museum had just opened and uh, two people walked in. Museum officials tell us that there was a security guard that was posted right here. And just as he was getting ready to climb up these stairs, a woman stopped him, distracted him, as her partner cut the painting from the frame. And walked out a few minutes later with the painting. The suspect's sketches provided dead-end leads. Witnesses say they saw a rust-colored sports car take off from in front of the museum. The value of the stolen masterpiece was $400,000. I always had in the back of my mind that that painting was going to come back. It was just a three and a half hour drive from Tucson. The owners of an antique shop in Silver City, New Mexico, went to check out the estate of Rita and Jerry Alter, who had passed away. They offered their nephew, who lived in Texas, $2,000 for the contents of the house. I was down on my knees picking up the piece of furniture, so when I looked up, I, I actually, one of the first things I saw was the signature, the de Kooning signature. But I, of course, my first thought was it was a print. David Van Ocker said it was hanging behind the bedroom door. He liked it for himself, so he paid an additional $200 for the painting. They loaded up the art and furniture in his pickup truck and took it to the shop, where one of the customers recognized the work. He was the very first one who was absolutely sure that it was an authentic deconing. Soon, others heard about the painting and said the same thing. One customer offered them $200,000 and urged them to research the painting. And that was kind of the turning point when we we decided that we needed to lock it away, so we put it in the bathroom and locked the door. That's the only room that locked in the store. Van Ocker Googled it and read an article about the stolen painting. Propped it up on the desk next to the computer and started comparing, and sure enough, it was it. He immediately contacted the University of Arizona Museum of Art and told them he had the painting, giving them measurements and emailing pictures. He also contacted the FBI. The painting was picked up the following evening. The question is, how did the altars end up with the stolen de Kooning? They were in uh, Tucson the, for Thanksgiving, the day before the, the theft happened. They owned a red, rust-colored sports car like the one witnesses say was seen leaving the museum. Picture of Rita standing next to her car wearing the exact red coat that's in the description of the, of the people who stole the painting. In his opinion. I tend to believe that they're the ones who took it. Chief Seastone says it's still an active investigation that's being handled by the FBI. We won't comment on that, but yeah, there's a lot of theories out there and there's a lot of coincidences. For Van Ocker, it doesn't matter if it was a hundred dollar painting or a hundred million dollars. Either way, it wasn't ours. It never was ours. It was stolen and it needed to go back to the rightful owners. As for Seastone, the day the painting was returned. There were no longer tears of disappointment and despair, but tears of happiness and joy. The painting is now at the Getty in Los Angeles, where it's being restored. Museum staff here say they hope to display it on the day after Thanksgiving of 2020. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.